Wilberforce University is on the list of colleges eligible to benefit from the Coronavirus Response and Relief Supplement Appropriations Act. The legislation includes debt relief for HBCUs. New at 6, Two News reporter Kiana Deitches shows us the impact it will have on the university. This would make a tremendous difference to get Wilberforce back to uh, financial independence and stability. Congressman Mike Turner advocating for the Department of Education to move quickly for giving loans accrued by Wilberforce University. Wilberforce had an outstanding and has an outstanding federal loan, uh, upwards of $25 million. In the CARES Act, we've been able to secure funding for historically black colleges. Wilberforce is the first private HBCU in the nation, and it relies on endowments for revenue like most private universities. But according to reports from the Government Accountability Office, the median endowment for historically black colleges and universities is half that of other colleges and universities of the same size. The report says Wilberforce University's endowment dropped from $12 million in 2014 to $8.2 million in 2018. Now, with coronavirus-related revenue losses, it's become even harder for the HBCU to survive. Our historically black colleges provide a unique education opportunity uh, for our African-American community. But in addition, uh, for us locally, uh, they have such great historical significance. In a statement to 2 News, President of Wilberforce, Dr. Eford Pinkert said this significant reduction in the university's debt will allow us to continue our path forward to a financially stable, high-performing, and sustainable Wilberforce University. Turner says funding for the university is pending, but he's hopeful. This would make a huge difference. We'd be able to celebrate as a community this accomplishment. Kiana Deitches, 2 News, working for you.